with Shane Watson here for Fiercely Sports. I'm here joined by Mick Hennessy. How are you, Mick? I'm, I'm, I've been better. I've been better. I wanted that for Lenny. I yeah. really wanted it. So, for him and his family, I wanted that. Well, on the positive side, he showed a lot of heart tonight. He showed that he could still, he could still mix it at that level. He, he stayed in there and he, he still gave a lot back as well. He landed some good shots in that fight as well. He showed heart his whole career. He's, he's, he's nothing short of a warrior. He's always been a warrior from the time he was an amateur till now. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a shame. He, he, he had to meet someone so awkward at this particular moment in time because, you know, as I said, it's been, it's been terrible what was done to him with the two European titles in, in Italy and then um, Nieto here. And uh, to deprive him of being European champion when the timing was right was, was terrible. Um, he would have been a great European champion back then and, and would have had great defences. Tonight, you know, it's obviously not worked for him. The timeout and everything else that's, that's, that's gone with it. Um, and to fight such a, an awkward European champion tonight. I mean, no one, no one likes facing Southpaws at the best of time, but that was a particularly awkward Southpaw. So it's unfortunate, really, because, you know, Lenny was in great condition, and I think if he'd have had, if he'd have had someone less, less awkward tonight, he would have walked away with the title, but that's where we're at. A lot of credit to Anthony. Um, I mean, even on a press conference on Thursday, well, he said he sees Lenny Dawes as the European champion. Yeah. So he was coming here as if Lenny Dawes was the champion. So he showed a lot of respect to Lenny Dawes pre-fight, and he showed a lot of respect after the fight. Where, where do you see Anthony Yeager as a fighter? Do you see him as a future world champion? Uh, he, he's, he's a classy kid. Like I, I, I think he's conducted himself very well. I think it, before and after and during, I think he's conducted himself very well. I think he's got. He's proved tonight that he's a, a top quality 12 round fighter with a good engine. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, especially with Lenny, Lenny, Lenny forces you to fight a high work rate. And um, there was question marks. Was he going to be able to go 12 rounds tonight? And and he proved that in a big way. But I like the way he conducts himself. He's held himself very well. Um, yeah, he's got a future. Whether he'll be a world champion or not. Um, you know, that remains to be seen, I'm not sure. You know, he's, 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 he's still pretty young. He's still pretty young and uh, he's got a lot going for him. Nice kid. So obviously, your, um, all your other fighters as well, your manager, Huey Fury, and big news from him lately, uh, fighting for a world title. We don't know exactly where that's going to be yet, but against Joseph Parker. Yeah. Any more news on where that fight could possibly be? No news as yet. Um, we're all working on it as a team. We're talking to Duco, uh, myself, Peter and Frank. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot going on in the background, but uh, hopefully we'll all have news soon. There's nothing we can actually tell you at the moment because, you know, we don't know ourselves. So, but we are, we are trying to, uh, all trying to put together the best situation. Is that a fight you're very confident in Huey Fury and pulling away with, even if it is in New Zealand? I'm, I'm very confident with Huey, full stop. I, I, I've been big on him since he was an amateur. I think he's, I think he's a, a big talent. I think he doesn't get the credit he deserves doing what he does at a very young age. We World were, Amateur Youth Champion as well. Ah, uh, I mean, what he'd done out in Armenia that time was phenomenal. Yeah. Come back, there was, you know, there was, he never got no attention for it. It, it was absolutely brilliant, the fight. Do you think fights. that's true to his background, which uh, the family seems to bring up quite a lot? It's got to be down to something, hasn't it? You know, there's all sorts of factors and, and, and snubs going on left, right and centre. and. You know, it's all wrong. It's all wrong because, you know, he's a lovely person, Huey, and um, brilliant talent. Look at him now, you know, at such a young age, you know, 20 and 0, you know, mandatory challenger. I mean, that's a phenomenal feat at 22, really is. And, um, you know, over here, Ireland, everyone needs to get behind him because he's a, a phenomenal talent. And trust me when I say, he needs to be motivated. This, this has been very easy for him so far, like breezing through the pros, but he needs to be motivated. Just like he was in the amateurs when he won the Worlds, he was motivated. Went out there, done a, a superb job. Um, you know, you, this fight will really motivate him and we'll see the best of Huey Fury. And you know, what, what, what an awesome talent at his age. And obviously, I was wondering a little bit, you said you had uh, big news coming up maybe within the next six weeks. 
Are you looking at a potential few more signings? Maybe. No potential, <laughs> is there a potential TV deal maybe as well looming around? Maybe. Yeah? So... But well, we are it, expecting big news from Hennessy Sports sooner or later anyway. It will come. It will come. Don't, don't count me out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, obviously... Yeah. Um, you're obviously, well, you was main man, still main man. Tyson Fury, what he did in Germany won't be forgotten, um, of course. But could we be seeing him back in the ring anytime soon? I really, the, the honest answer to that is I really don't know. You know, the only person who knows that is Tyson, and when he's ready, you know, he, he'll 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 do what's right for him. And um, you know, the main thing is he needs to be happy. He really does. I want him to be happy. Um, with everything that's going on in his life and, and, and with his boxing and everything else. He, he, he had a, a, a very, very bad year, uh, a very like provoked year, which was unnecessary. And uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't respected and appreciated as, as the phenomenon that, that he is as heavyweight champion. So, you know, obviously, you know, that's, that, that, that's hurtful to, all in, to everyone involved, to Tyson, to Peter, to myself. You know, that, 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 that was hurtful, no question. And a little bit on Kid Galahad's situation. Is he no longer with Hennessy Sports anymore? Or? No, no comment. I'd rather not speak about that. Okay, then. You know, well, fighters then. that... Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations on another great show you, you had here tonight. European title fight. You managed to bring it back here again, successfully. You won a purse for that again. And it was great to um, see European Championship back, uh, boxing back in Carl Scholten. And also, it's, a great, it's great to see in boxing because you don't see it every day with the uh, friendship and relationship you have with Lenny Dawes and obviously all of your fighters. Yeah. So it's good to see that again and hopefully we can catch up with you again soon. Yep. Yeah, I want to go up and see, see how Lenny is now. And uh, thank you. Right, thank you for talking to BFC Sports. Mick, and take care now, yeah? All right.